All right, now in this video, let's take a look at all those exciting changes and features we have received on the gallery application on Samsung's One UI 6.0 based on Android 14. Let's dive right into the video. Now let me open gallery application and tap on this hamburger menu. You can instantly notice here this panel is bigger than before and we have got studio option right here at the bottom. This is a brand new advanced video editing feature we have got integrated on the gallery application itself. You can just tap on this to go to the save projects and you can start a new project by tapping on this particular tab here. I have made a separate dedicated video for this studio application. If you have missed it, you can go ahead and check out the channel. Now let's go back. Now here, let me go to videos. You can see on the top right corner, we have got a brand new icon here now. By tapping on which, we can directly go to the selection menu uh, we can select the video clips right from here and then we get this option movie at the bottom. We can tap on this to directly go to the studio application to edit or create a movie right from here. That is just perfect. Now this new icon wasn't there in the previous version. Now the next improvement or the change we have got on One UI 6.0 inside the gallery is the enhanced editing layout. Let me tap on editing option here on an image. You can see we have got a brand new layout now. The new tools menu makes it much easier to find the editing features you need on this layout now. You can see on the left hand side, I've got the previous version of uh, editing layout here on One UI 5.1. And on the right hand side, I got the uh, new layout. The straighten and perspective options have been combined now, which are available right here the moment you tap on editing option. Now let's say if you are applying a filter, uh, at the bottom, you can see the slider bar here on the older version and on the newer version, we get this kind of a slider uh, to increase or decrease the effect of that particular filter. Now, after editing an image, you can see on the previous version, we did not have any options over here. Now on the newer version, we get this three dot button by tapping on which you can enter into a menu where we can copy the edits which can be pasted on another image. Let me show you how it works. Now I have edited this image and let's say I want to copy all these edits. I can tap on this copy edits option and I can go back. If you want to save this particular image, you can save it or uh, you can directly go into the gallery options and select a few images and I can tap on this three dot button at the bottom here. Here we get an option to paste those edits that I have selected. I've just pasted it now. All those edits I did on that particular image has been pasted for these images as well. As simple as that. I can also select uh, more images here and I can tap on a three dot button here and we still get this paste edits option. All we need to do is just tap on paste edits. Now this is a very important feature. We can easily copy the edits and paste it on multiple image at once, which is just fantastic. Next one is private share integration in a quick share album. Now let me tell you what exactly this means. Let's open gallery. You can see I've got this quick share album right here. This will appear only if you have shared any images from another Samsung Galaxy phone through quick share feature. Now when you open this quick share album, you will see this brand new icon here. This is the private share icon uh, by tapping on which you can uh, go to the private sharing history right here. Now this is an option which is showing up inside the quick share album on gallery application. In case we want to see the private share history, you can directly check that out by tapping on this icon right here. Next new feature is adjusting decoration after saving. Let me open an image which I have decorated before. As you can see on this image, I have added a sticker and I have added some text. Now even after saving these edits, I can still edit the stickers and the text that I have saved. Let me show you how to do that. I'll just tap on this image and tap on editing option. Now let's say I want to edit the text which I've saved before. I can go to text. Now I can tap on this text. It'll get selected and this is when I will be able to edit that text again. Now let me go back. I will tap on stickers. Now I can tap on the stickers which I had added before. I can move this around and I can edit it. And if I want to delete it, I will be able to delete that as well. This is how we adjust or edit the decorations even after saving it in the past. The next one I want to discuss is about the gallery labs. We have got four brand new features on gallery labs now. To enable gallery labs, you need to go to the hamburger menu, tap on settings, uh, go to the about gallery here and keep tapping on this version number. You will get this hidden a gallery labs option. It says this is only for internal tests. The function in labs are not official and can be disappeared. Now, uh, some functions may not work on the beta, so be wary of that. I'll tap on gallery labs. Now you can see on top uh, one UI 6.0, 
We have got simple bottom options in Viewer, Return to Viewer while exiting, Show Date Address Floating View, and we also have Remote Gallery feature, which can give us access to an album of the remote device in the same Wi-Fi domain. Now, I had tried uh, testing this particular feature, which did not work for me. If you remember one in one of my previous videos, I did share this particular feature. A couple of them are not working on mine. Uh, the first one is working simple bottom options in Viewer. When I enable this, the menu option will go to the top. As you can see, when I tap on on this image uh, I don't see this three dot button at the bottom right now it is showing up on the top right I can tap on this to go to the menu whereas if you have disabled that particular feature let me disable it now I'll go to settings and go to gallery labs and I'll disable or uh, switch off this toggle and I'll exit now I'll go to the uh, image again you can see the uh, three dot button has moved to the bottom right now so this is how it changes. This is how we can customize the three dot menu options through the gallery labs. Now the last feature that I want to discuss is about uh, the object clipper or saving the objects from an image as a sticker and moving them from the gallery to other application. Let me open gallery and open a particular uh, image here. Now I can just press and hold on this image to lift this object or this particular subject. And I can just remove my finger to see these options. We've got save as sticker option. I can save this as sticker. Now I can go back on the Samsung keyboard. This sticker will be available to send it on WhatsApp or messaging app or email or anywhere you want. You will be able to use the sticker which you have just created. Let me show you that. Let's go to Samsung keyboard here. I will tap on emojis. You can see here we've got this gallery icon. I'll tap on this. You can see those stickers which are lifted from the images are available right here. I will be able to send them from right here on the Samsung keyboard. The next feature is dragging the clipped image from a gallery application to another application. I can just press and hold on this image to clip it. I can just drag it and I can swipe up to go to the home screen. Let's say I want to save this image on a note application. I can just open the note app, create a new note and drop it right here. As simple as that. Now we can drag and drop the clipped image from the gallery into another application. This is just fantastic. These are some amazing features that we have got on gallery application. You let me know what do you think. Have you tried all these features? If you have already installed the beta, drop a comment and uh, give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.